Hi! In the previous video, we are talking about methods that can be used to check whether a given string contains only alphanumeric characters, or just alphabetic characters, or just white spaces. The methods we discussed are isAlnum, isAlpha, and isPace respectively. Turns out, there are more methods like these. In this video, we will be talking about a couple of methods used to check if the string contains only digits. But actually, there are a couple of categories of number characters in Unicode. Let's have a look at them first. The first category is number decimal digit. This category includes all the digits that we use from 0 through 9, but also other characters that are used as numbers in other languages, like for instance the numbers used in Arabic-speaking countries. Here they are. And many, many more. Now, the second category is number other. This category includes lots of other numeric symbols, which are not pure digits like the ones in the decimal category. Here we have, among others, symbols like superscript, fraction, circle digits, and many more. Now, the last category is number letter. This category includes letter symbols used as numbers. For example, Roman numerals or cuneiform numeric signs, among others. In Python, we have a couple of methods to check if a string contains only numeric characters. The isDecimal method returns true if all the characters are decimal. This means belong to the number decimal digit category. Have a look. This is true because all these characters belong to the decimal category. Now, how about this? Well, this returns false, because one quarter, this character over here, is not in the number decimal digit category. Now, how about the superscripts? Is decimal false because the superscript is not in the number decimal digit category. Well, this is the is decimal method. The next method is is digit. The is digit method returns true for all the characters in the number decimal digit category, so all the characters for which is decimal returns true, and also for some characters from the number other category. So let's have a look. This returns true, just like in case of the isDecimal method. How about the superscript? We can use the superscript with the isDigit method like so, and it returns also true. Or we can use something like this. This also returns true. How about a circled number? Here we have a circled number. True. Well, but not all of them. For example, this one still returns false. Finally, we have the isNumeric method. The isNumeric method returns true if the string contains only numeric characters belonging to any of the above described categories so decimal, letter, and other numeric characters. Have a look. This returns true. How about this, a fraction? Is numeric? True. How about a Roman numeral? Is numeric? True. OK, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.